Hello and welcome back to Grizzly Bear Farms. Um, this is Grizzly Bear Sims and welcome back again. I appreciate that. My name is Jerry and uh, this is episode number 10 if my calculations are correct. This is still Saturday the 8th of October and this is the third hour of uh, farming for me. Uh, the family is all still asleep. It's uh, coming up on 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this will probably be the last um, uh, episode that I'll be able to record uh, today, but that's okay. Uh, I've got uh, still got some uh, footage stockpiled, and um, so yeah. So let's see. Let me just check uh, our fuel. We've got plenty of fuel in this guy. So we're working down here on the south end of the field, and really, uh, all we really need to do to take care of field number 13, so it's done for. Uh, the day is to just spray it with herbicide. So that is what we're going to do uh, really quick like. And um, go ahead and start unfolding this guy. And we're just going to spray. Uh, this is a, I believe, barley. So barley and wheat are similar in the sense that um, they will uh, take herbicides. Um, they will take herbicide B or C. So we're just going to stick with uh, a double dose of C just because we can. And uh, all of that will be good stuff here. So just kind of get lined up. And I'm not too worried about um, worrying with uh, GPS mod and everything. I think we can kind of just um, uh, fake our way through this. Um, so yeah, so uh, today uh, I have spent uh, two hours prior to this doing episode um, 8 and 9, and this is episode 10. So um, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday the 9th, I might get another episode in. You know, we're um, at the end of this episode, we'll be, you know, three hours into our day four, or three, three hours further into our day four. Um, and may actually look at at some point not in this episode but we'll probably look at purchasing another field and at least getting started on um, lime and cultivation for that field if um, maybe that's all we do but I think we're at a point where we need to look at uh, what's in our best interest and I think in our best interest right now is to take uh, a portion of the 700,000 that we have in the bank and apply that to another field or two or something um, because we're going to need we're going to need more things to do than just our four fields that we currently own and all four of these fields when I'm finished with this one um, all the chores that will be needed for them for day four will be 100% complete and if you remember at the sort of at the end of um, or the starting in the middle of episode uh, nine we mowed we cut some grass and um, we need to go and pick that grass up Now, I heard, I got a bit of information, a bit more information about pure farming. You know, the calendar year of 2017 is going to be sort of the year of the farming simulator. Um, you know, we've got, um, we've got Pro Farmer. I, I think that's the name of it. I am just, I'm terrible at, I'm terrible at human names and I'm also terrible at, at uh, remembering game names and stuff. But I think... I think in recent weeks there was a, a game that came out. I think it's called um, um, Pro Farmer or something like that. Anyway, um, you know, I've seen a lot of people have some video, game footage video of that game. And um, I looked at it, and I think it's only about 20 bucks. And it's just not, it's not where, you know, I think they have some they have some uh, good ideas but getting those implemented is um, just not the same but obviously FS 17 is coming out in uh, less than 20 days 
as I record this. And then we've got cattle and crops, a lot of information, a lot of new information has been made available about cattle and crops, uh, including their Kickstarter uh, campaign, which I'm a participant in so that I get early access to the game in the spring. And um, so that'll be great. But then we've also got another game called um, Pure Farmer, I believe. And um, I think in another episode, I may have referred to it as Pure Country. And that was just um, getting my head mixed up with a, a movie that came out starring uh, George Strait a number of years ago. But Pure Farmer, I, th I think is what it's called, um, is... Um, also coming out sometime in 17 now I don't think there's a Kickstarter or anything like that right now with that game um, but 2017 obviously is going to be the year for um, uh, farming simulation type uh, type programs type games and um, from what I learned about Pure Farmer is it seems to be maybe, I'm not going to say that it's going to be the best title. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to park this guy over here because what we'll end up having to do for, for day five, whenever we start day five, obviously we're going to have to do some, uh, some spraying of some, some fertilizer and such. And so we will just start in the south end of our farm and then move to the to the north because we'll have to touch every field so we're just going to drop this guy uh, here and uh, let him just set out for tonight but yeah pure farmer is supposed to um somewhat be you know it's sort of taken elements from um, fs15 with all the different mods and stuff that that we have available the soil mod and um, uh, all these other all these other things and um, created a um, an environment or a simulation that I think is going to be quite quite cool it's going to be quite interesting now whether or not it's going to be better than FS 17 be better than cattle open crops I don't know but um, I was um, reading some information and I, I sort of get the impression that pure farming is going to be um, it's going to have some elements of uh, you know you're going to have like the damage mod is going to be part of that uh, that gameplay and you may have to do some work on your your vehicles a little a little bit more than what you are obviously uh, need to do with a default FS15 I'm not sure what 17 is going to have in relation to that I, I'm and to be quite honest with you, I have, I'm still, I'm still watching. You know, there's, there's a couple of YouTubers that's putting content out there when the dev blogs are released, and I'm reading some of that information, but I've also sort of stopped because um, I want, I want to be surprised. I want. It's sort of like, it's sort of like knowing what you get for Christmas, what's under the tree. You know, when if, if, if you know that, OK, I'm going to get X because I've asked for it and that looks like what it is and everything. Um, but you, you still want some element of surprise, I think. And uh, and I know I certainly do. And so I've kind of I've kind of held off just a little bit on um, just, you know, how much I have tried to absorb. Uh, with regards to what FS17 is going to be and do and and function and all that kind of stuff in the hopes that when it does release on the 25th of October that there's going to be some things that I'm going to say oh yeah yeah I know about that and then some things that I'm going to go wow I didn't know I didn't know they put this in the game uh, whether it's a piece of equipment or whether it's a you know a process or a function function or whatever um, I'm still wanting that element of surprise if um, if it's if it's possible so picking up the grass you know mowing um, 
baling and also you know picking up the grass like this this is this is one of my I would say one of my favorite things to do and I know I should probably pick up the um, pick up the pickup there but oh well um, or I should lift the pickup anyway um, this is one of the most enjoyable things I think that that I can do on the virtual farm just because it's um, it's um, let me hide these HUDs for you I keep forgetting that I'm sorry I'm, I'm such a terrible youtuber um, but because it's relaxing it's just it's just me my tractor my forage wagon and the grass or the straw in the field um, all my chores are done as far as field field work is concerned um, you know we may pick up another field later this afternoon before the end of this game day um, but um, you know everything is done and it's just like I said it's just me my tractor my forage wagon and um, And I didn't skip that over there. I'll swing back around and get it. Uh, I just wanted to take a bit of a wider turn. But yeah, it's just a, sort of a, a peaceful, enjoyable aspect of, of the game that I, I quite enjoy. Well, I'm, not, I'm actually not getting as much grass as I had hoped. We're at 30%, and we've picked up I guess two and a half rows. I was kind of hoping that, you know, I might get like two wagons out of this field. You know, you never really know until you cut the grass the first time on a map just how much it's going to, how much it's going to provide you. And I, and I say that because um, when I started playing Graceland for the first time, um, that map came with a... Um, it came with a field pre-planted forget what the field number is doesn't matter um, in grass and that was one of the first things I did in you know like day one or or whatever and my god it it yielded the yield of, of grass that came off that field was like um, seven seven eight hundred liters or so i mean it, it it just that's all i did was and i ended up getting saying okay well you know this is going to be quite a quite a chore um so i ended up setting up a course play route um and yeah i think the yield off that field and it wasn't a super big i mean a lot of the fields on graceland are huge obviously um, but it wasn't that big of a field and um and so I think it sort of has skewed my expectation, the reality of just exactly how much grass yield there is on, um, on some of these maps. And so, but yeah, I was hoping to get, I was hoping to get at least two out of this, out of this field here, two, uh, uh, two wagon loads. And we're at, we're at what? Um, yeah, we're at just, we're at just 50 percent. Now, bailing is also um, quite relaxing. Um, I enjoy doing both square and round bales. Um, I've got the Corona um, round baler that has the that does the silage wrap. That's that's a pretty cool mod actually. If you if you haven't seen that, if you're interested in a in a round baler um, that does uh, si that wraps silage, um, then uh, check out go to grizzlybearsims.com and look at my mod list and you find the link to that. It's the Corona um, round baler. But picking bales up 
hasn't always been a favorite thing to do just because I have not always I've not well I've never really been good at, at picking up bells um, but um, since I got my joystick set up and everything operating the front um, you know front lift um, has been a little bit easier but I saw something cool in one of uh, Reefy, uh, Reefy 1952's uh, videos um, just yesterday actually and uh, what he referred to as um, a BP a bipolar profit um, method of, of picking up uh, bells and um, I may show you that um, at some point in time on this particular farm on Paradise Hills um, and it's it's quite uh, it's quite fun it, it's it's <coughs> sorry it's cheating um, because it's kind of using a combination of a of a um, I'll grab this little bit of grass here that got out here when we made that turn and we'll lift our pickup and uh, we're at 65 percent And we will resume this here. And get back in first person. Anyway, it utilizes um, a couple of things that, yeah, it's cheating, um, but I'm so lousy at stacking bells that it's it's not even it's not even funny. Um, that it's. Um, from what I can, I've not actually tested it, but I've downloaded the mod, or at least I think I've got the mod, the correct mod. And um, I'll just quickly show it to you right quick. If we go into the store and go to mods, I think this is it. This is the equipment CSZ. Um, I'm pretty sure that these bell spikes, uh, this round uh, f bell fork, or uh, these uh, also have auto auto loading capabilities on them. So if you're a little rusty about, you know, getting getting the um, your 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 tractor, your front end loader or whatever, uh, squirt around with the bells and such, that helps a little bit. And I have in real life, I have actually picked up bells with a tractor with a front end loader. I did that um, in school, in high school when we were. Um, doing, uh, I took four years of FFA, Future Farmers of America. Uh, I'm an IT guy, so something went wrong. But in any event, um, I um, have done that. And and I really, th and I actually, I've also worked at, at companies where I've driven forklift. Um, and, you know, operating that type of equipment in real life is much easier. Now, I'm not very good at, at, uh, at this is much much easier than um, I, I want to pick up that extra grass so I'm going to come back around and make a make another pass at it here because I don't want to leave this on the ground um, but operating you know a forklift something like that is much easier in real life than it is in uh, in, in a video game um, and so again because I am quite lousy with um, with this because again if, you know Giants haven't hasn't really given us much controller support with FS15 it was difficult to try to get the joystick configured once I finally figured it out I recorded a video if you're interested in that you'll find it on my channel on my channel but um, yeah it's just it's easier in real life than it is in the game but but that helps and so in combination with an auto loading trailer um, when you're still picking the bells up on the field and you're still driving the bells over to the trailer and you're still somewhat going through the motions of putting the bells on the trailer but then obviously the auto loading mechanism on the trailer kicks in and takes them off your bell spikes and neatly places them on the trailer so it, and I mean, it's cheating. Yes, it is. Um, am I going to use that method? Yes, I will. Um, are you going to like it? I don't know. Um, but um, 
it's at least better than driving the auto loading trailer through the field with auto loading turned on and zigzagging around bells and seeing them get sucked up off the ground and placed into um, onto the trailer. So at least it's a little bit more uh, realistic than that. So where are we? 83%. So we will go ahead and just run up here and start picking this up. Could have definitely cut more grass in this particular field. Again, I, I was thinking that I was thinking I would have already made several trips dumping grass at this point and we've not even filled one forage wagon load. But as I said before, I think I think uh, in the previous episode when I was actually cutting the grass, the grass will grow uh, will grow back in you know, six hours, eight hours time or so. So g definitely game game day five if, if we've obviously got, you know, time, which we will. I just want to extend that day out and make it several episodes. Um, we we can cut grass again. So what is your favorite, what is your favorite thing to do on your virtual farm? Um, is it, um, you know, is it mowing grass? Is it, is it collecting the grass? Is it, is it baling? Is it, uh, is it plowing? Is it cultivating? Is it, um, you know, tending to the, tending to the cows? Um, all right, so that is, go ahead and turn that off and we will head to the farm dump this off let's see what the capacity of this you know, 30 well it should have been 38,000 I guess I cut it short just a bit so 38,000 worth of grass Is it, um, is it planting? Is it harvesting? Is it, you know, sort of the combination of those things? Is it, is it everything? You know, I mean, I think everyone probably has something, one specific, you know, element that they enjoy about, um, about farm sim, about their virtual farming endeavor that they, you know, they, that they like more than something else. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead and dump this in here, and Stevie has Stevie has made the um, the uh, drop zone obviously a lot wider than um, normally. You have to back up. But we're gonna we're gonna cheat just a little bit and just dump it right there. Um, fill our mixing station up. And I think what we will do is while we are here, we're gonna go ahead and bring this around. take the last of the straw and go ahead and dump the straw into um, well we'll we'll leave some for we need to leave some for bedding
Let's see what our levels are. That's about halfway on the straw, almost full on the grass. We'll have to uh, grab another tipper for silage. I don't think I don't think this one will haul hold silage. And we're just going to go back down and resume our our grass uh, collection. Anyway, what's your favorite thing to do? Leave your leave your your comments in the in the chat or in the um, in the comment section, and let me know. Let me know what your favorite thing to do is on your virtual farm. You know, in either episode eight or nine, I can't remember, I was talking about uh, Bipolar Prophet and I was talking about um, the, the way that he has um, sort of, he's got a storyline going and um, if you if you look at his um, the latest video, episode 133, um, he's he's in debt. He's he's actually uh, in debt to uh, over 500 over 500,000 um, dollars or euros or, or whatever monetary um, unit that he's using, and um, he's pretty much in the process of converting from what I understand, converting his entire operation to, uh, to dairy cows, um, which is kind of cool. And so, um, you know, he's, he's um, in the whole storyline and everything. But in reality, it actually makes sense. It makes sense for him to be in as much debt as he currently is um, so here I am. I'm setting at over a half a million dollars in cash. Now I've got I've got a bank loan um, that's just part of the default map um, amount of debt, and I've never I've never bothered paying that off, and I've not bothered maxing it out either. But if you think about it, you know where we are in our season. Okay, if we think about um, we're in day four, but if we think about this, obviously this is this would be like springtime, okay? Um, when we'd be thinking about, you know, laying our our crops and everything, planting our crops and everything. If you think about it, where where we are in this, um, we would not we would probably not have, you know, seven hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars in our bank account. We would actually um, we might even actually be in debt. Um, because we would probably have bank loans, especially if we were a new operation, we'd have bank loans for equipment. We would have bank loans possibly for um, getting seed and getting fertilizer and all that kind of stuff. And obviously the hopes would be that in the fall when we harvest and sell, that we would actually, that's where our profit would come from. And we would um, obviously pay off our our debt and, and hopefully be able to carry enough over into the next year or the next season to be able to do some, if not all of, you know, the next season with very limited amount of, um, of need from the banks or the savings and loans and that sort of thing. But um, so, yeah, so I really like that, that mentality. So if you watch his, his video, uh, episode 133, I think it is, you'll see that he's got like, you know, six hundred and something thousand dollars uh, negative value up in his um, upper right HUD. And I, I, I think that's cool. I think that's just, you know, and of course, I, I think how he's accomplished that, if, you know, I don't think he's necessarily using a mod or anything for that. I think what he's just done is he's cheated in the money that he's, and I use that term, somewhat loosely um, he's added in the money and he's bought the equipment that he needs because obviously that's kind of how you've got to do it and then he's just sort of you know figured out okay well all of this equates to you know a million dollars in debt or 800,000 in debt or whatever and he's just again cheated that money out and put a negative number in so if you go into that career save game file 
um, where you can add money if, well, if you're on a PC, you can't do it on console. Uh, you can add that in, to a PC. You can add money in, and I've done that before. Um, I have started maps before where I have been the broke farmer and I have done everything um, by the book, in other words, not cheated any money in. And I've also played maps where I've said, okay, well, here's the deal. Um, I've sold everything on my previous farm, sold all the equipment, sold all the land, sold all my crops, and I've got, you know, five million dollars from all of that or whatever. And whenever I start a new map, I put that amount of money in, so I cheat that amount of money in, and then I, I buy the equipment that I want, and I play that map until I get bored with it, and um, all of that. So, you know, it's it's whatever you want to do. I mean, there's no, you know, um, there's no right or wrong way to, to play this. I mean, even if you want to, even if you always want to cheat in money, eh, it's, it's whatever you, whatever you want to get out of it. Um, and don't, don't let anyone make you feel bad about that either. It's nobody's business. But having said that, um, you know, don't be surprised if, if I start up a new series in FS17 and if I want to do, you know, I, like I said, you know, um, the best form of, of flattery is, is sometimes, you know, copying somebody else's idea. And um, if, I, if I choose to do that, then I may actually, I may actually follow his lead on that and, and cheat in some money buy the equipment that I want. Um, the storyline would probably be something like, you know, got a, got a major uh, bank loan uh, for, you know, a million dollars or five million dollars or whatever uh, to set up operation. And, and, um, and, then, and then once I buy all that equipment, edit that, you know, go in and cheat that money out to a negative number and then basically work in, in a net with a negative um, amount of money until I pay it off. Because I doubt very seriously that there are many farmers, especially if I'm if I'm sort of portraying a small-time farmer I mean and I think that's kind of where I am with this particular map and kind of what I'm doing right now with the role play and stuff you know I've, I own four fields and own a few pieces of equipment I don't really think that I would be setting here at, in the springtime with you know seven hundred something thousand dollars in the bank if I was just a, um, especially a small-time farmer starting out it wouldn't be the case. I would probably have debt, a lot more debt than what I've got, uh, what I've got right now. I will say this much: um, operating in first person, in cab, is much easier now that I've installed that that mod, and it seems to be working fine with this tractor. I've I've hidden. Oh, here I go again. Let me hide the HUDs. Um, I've, you know, hidden the HUDs and, and made them visible several times and I've not had any problems. Maybe, maybe it's a conflict with the IC on that John Deere. Maybe something is, is going on there. I'm not sure. I'm not really worried about it. We'll see. We'll see what happens um, when, um, when I restart the game. I've actually, the game's been running for... Um, over two and a half hours, so I didn't actually restart the game whenever I uh, started recording again. Oops, let me grab this bit of, of uh, grass. Because we can, we need to, we need it. It doesn't do us any good setting out here on the field. Yeah, we will be able to cut grass again tomorrow if we want to, but um, I'm going to try to get as much as I can off of it.
The only thing that doesn't seem to work is the ca the camera will auto center back um, unless you change the your mouse. If you move the camera with your mouse, um, it doesn't. It tends to think that's center instead of of um, of that as an example. Waste not, want not, right? go not where does the grass grow um, I think that says forage over there uh, no straws next to it let's see about these over here Chips forage. Uh, let me get out and look. Grass windrow right there. Well, that's okay. You know, you learn. It takes you a little while until you, until you um, have the opportunity to, to. Um, So you have the opportunity to use all these different storage bins and and such. I mean, it makes sense to have the grass next to the next to the straw. But anyway, there it is. Take this. We're gonna we're gonna park this up up the hill here, and we will grab one of our tippers because um, not the end game one, but the the one sitting next to it. We will quickly jump out and wash this guy off here. But um, the other tipper that we have, it's a mod, and I believe it's from Stevie, actually. It's uh, one of the first mods that I found from him um, that's not a map, and um, it will haul anything that we want. Um, it'll haul... Um, it'll haul silage, it'll haul grass, it'll haul straw, and um, so, yeah. sure that it wasn't still connected. Because we need to um, we 
we need to move some silage into We need to move some silage into that mixing station. Yeah, these are good. Um, these are actually good tipper mods. Um, they will haul just about anything that that you need to be able to haul on the farm. Um, they'll haul uh, manure. They'll haul all of your grain types, fruit types. They'll haul all your your grasses, your straws, your 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 chaff. Um, it'll even haul TMR. <coughs> from the mixing station down to wherever you need that to go. So they're just good, um, they're just good all around um, utility type, type uh, trailers. Alright, so let's think about what we want to do. Um, I think I definitely want to buy some, uh, I definitely want to buy some dairy cows. Um, just because we are near enough at a point to where, I mean, the, the TMR, it'll take a little, it'll take a while before the TMR is ready to go, but at least we've got all the elements um, there with it. So. I think what I want to do is uh, $2,500 a head. So I think what I want to do, and if you're if you're bothered by flashing, um, then look away. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna start with 25. Um, And that will at least get us into um, into the animal business. And then what we will do is um, we'll just start moving some we'll start moving some straw down there because we'll need straw for bedding. all the straw we have. While we're down here in this vicinity, um, let me um, just exit out and let's go into placeables. 
do I not have the placeable stock stop milk cell? Wait, that was going to mods placeable stop milk cell. Um, I would think these are the same. I don't know. They both say the same thing. We'll buy this. All right. So the way that this works is um, all you need in order to basically stop the milk cell is you need this little sign. And so we're going to just stick this little sign over here out of the way. Um, we shouldn't need that should be fine right there. So that's all you need to do. And um, with that little sign, and we can see it if we walk up here, I think we can see, yep. That just basically stops the milk from being sold. So what will happen is um, usually if you don't put the sign up, then at midnight your milk will automatically sell. Uh, we don't want that. We want to basically have milk accumulate and we'll take the milk down to the dairy cell point um, at some point in time once we sort of accumulate enough of it or maybe we work up a schedule or something of that nature um, to where we're taking it down on certain days of the week or whatever. So we will just bring this in. That's enough straw for 25 head of dairy cows. So we'll carry this back up to the top. And um, put this back in storage. I may have, I may have, you know, taken a bit more straw down to the compost plant than perhaps I should have. It's going to, it's going to be, um, it's probably going to be a, another day or two, I think, before our wheat crop, which is on field number one right over here, before it's ready for harvest. So um, hopefully we can stretch this, stretch that straw and this grass out a bit. So we'll grab we'll grab some grass. That's probably enough. Now, a cool mod is this little um, heads-up display, and it will take you, so I can go to cows owned, and for example, I can see that uh, with straw, I'm, I'm at 15,000, I'm at 101% on straw, on grass, that will take 30, and the cool thing is, is it tells you how much, um, how much the capacity is versus I think if I go into this screen here and look at my animals it just tells me that I have nothing uh, feeding through these items I don't know well what's what sort of capacity does that does that take for 25 cows but at least with this little uh, mod I can see that that magic number is 30,000 so I could have actually brought more uh, more grass down here but that's okay that's okay. We can, like I said, we can always uh, cut more grass tomorrow or, uh, yeah, tomorrow. Maybe grass doesn't grow in here. Oh, maybe it goes. 
goes out here. I know water goes in the in the trough to the right. Maybe this is grass. in the front some of these um, some of these um, troughs there we go some of these troughs will only load from one side or the other not both I don't think I can swing that so we're going to go out this direction. Oops, move out of the way. Yeah, these are, these cows are somewhat kamikaze cows. If you're not careful, they will just, they kind of have a mind of their own and uh, they just go wherever they want to go. So that's grass, that's, uh, we'll move some silage down. I need 22,500 liters of silage as I drive like a madman on the farm. And uh, we won't have very much TMR to take down, but we'll, we'll take down what we can in this episode. I could take silage down. Um, I could take silage down to the um, compost plant, but I tell you what, I mean, silage is a, um, silage is a commodity that I just don't want to necessarily dump into, um, into making compost, considering that um, compost will, can be made out of straw or grass or anything like that. Uh, it's a lot easier to produce just grass or, or straw than it is to produce silage so I'd rather not take it down there Okay, where does this, there we go. I guess you gotta be a little bit more precise with your silage drop than straw. That's okay. We try to avoid the cows as best as we can, but again, it's Let's see if we can, we'll, we'll dump this 1,500 liters or so into the mix station. We'll see what sort of uh, TMR we have, how much of that we have. It won't be much, um, but um, we'll take that down. And then the last element that we'll need to deliver will be water. And that should bring our dairy milk production to 100%. Okay, well, I didn't expect it to uh, actually dump like that, but it did. And it looks like that's all we have. So I'm guessing it just converted that bit of silage that we had in there into TMR. And we will take it down. And as I said, drop what we have. It won't be much. We need, um, 
we need up to fifty thousand or forty nine thousand five hundred liters for twenty five cows but this will at least get things started i'll keep an eye on this and will occasionally as as need be as it produces t m r will get down here and get it get it for the cows and kind of keep them try to keep them at one hundred percent yeah so that's that's not very much but it's it's at least something their productivity will go to one hundred percent as soon as we bring water down and i realize the episode is coming up on an hour um, we'll just go ahead and keep going until we bring the water level up how much water nine thousand see that's that's a cool thing because you never like with you know unless you well and we're gonna buy we're gonna buy a new water uh, we're gonna buy a new uh, um, tanker trailer for that just because I'm a little um, you know the black one that we have up here that one is used for fertilizer for now but eventually that will become our uh, liquid manure hauler because it's black um, I will do a So let's go back down here to our drop point because we've got, as I've been saying before, we've got such a good relationship with our with our dealership that anything that we buy, he delivers to us. So um, so yeah, this is this thirty thousand. I don't think we need. We don't. Um, um, you know, we're just gonna go with this smaller guy here. We'll buy him. We're going to make him blue for water. And then we will have our dealership deliver to us because he's cool like that. And there it is. Boy, he's fast. And we'll just attach him. Again, I'm trying to get this, trying to keep these under an hour if at all possible. So this will be just a minute or two over that hour mark, I think, by the time we get the water delivered. Try not to crash into that. And we will refill. And again, our magic number is 9,000 liters. So that's enough. No need taking any more because it won't take it. It won't hold it. And these are also um, great sort of universal um, tankers because they will haul uh, they'll haul anything that is, um, I believe, let me, let me check that, but I believe that they will also do, I believe that they will also do milk. Uh, yeah, they'll do milk, they'll do um, liquid manure, water, milk, fertilizer, and fuel. So I think anything that we would need to be able to haul, we'll be able to do that. So we'll get, um, once we get enough milk, Produ uh, produce there. Uh, we'll buy another tinker and um, paint it up white. Uh, or actually, we might. I've got another mod here. Let's see. Uh, let me take a look at that. Is it under. Oh, it's, uh, it's this guy here. It's a um, the MAN Universal. Uh, I don't. I won't. I won't get that. Uh, we just need a. We'll pull it with a. We'll pull it with a tractor. 
Is it this side or is it going to be the other side? It's this side. Oh, that's cool animation. So our water level's coming up. And uh, as more game time is applied, um, the production will, will come up. So we're, if you, if you just look at our little PDA here, uh, other than mix ration being a bit low on that, um, and we'll we'll add some more mix ration later today, we're we've got everything that we need for 100% productivity. So uh, eventually they will start uh, producing milk, and then that will be that. All right. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Um, this is this marks the uh, end of the third hour of my virtual farming on Saturday. It's still the 8th of October, and um, so this will wrap my time up um, downstairs. At least with this map, I may go work on the multiplayer server map a little bit um, later today. But I think I will go up and see what the wife is doing. I think I've heard her walking around above my head. I'm, my office is in the basement, and um, I think I heard her walking around. So, um, so yeah. I guess what we can do is we'll haul this guy up to the top of the hill, where we probably will plan to keep our, our um, equipment. And I will just go ahead and say thank you all for returning once again and watching uh, another video from, from me. I appreciate it. If, um, if you would, please subscribe and please like the videos. That really does help. I mean, I know, I know YouTubers say that, um, but it, it really does help with um, um, motivating, I think. Because if we know that people out there enjoy watching it to some capacity... Um, then at least it tells us, okay, well, let's, you know, let's keep going. Let's, let's continue, uh, doing this thing. And so that's what I'm certainly planning to do is keep on making these videos. So we're, as I said, we're just three weekends away from, um, FS 17 coming out. That's going to be cool. And I have talked long enough. My throat's starting to hurt. So thank you all. Uh, we're just going to drive this tractor on around and go ahead and park it up. And probably in the virtual world here, we would be, um, well, it's coming up on 2 o'clock. I'm sure we'd be busy doing something, but uh, we're going to go up to the house and have a cup of coffee. And, um, yeah, so thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys watching. I really, really do. And um, um, go check out PCSG. Go, go join. Uh, that's that's the that's the greatest uh, community that I have found on the internet for um, all things uh, simulation gaming. So go check that out. Say hello to us, and let's get to know you. And um, enjoy your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.